Hey guys, it's Aaron. We had some questions in the uh, YouTube comments about Fibonacci or golden sections and golden spirals, uh, that sort of thing. So fortunately, the question there was, was there an extension to make them? And um, that could be, but it's really easy enough to make with the native tools. We can just use uh, rectangles and arcs really to make a golden spiral. So we're going to take a look at doing that right now. Okay, so here we are in SketchUp. All I'm going to do in SketchUp is start by grabbing a rectangle, plain old ordinary rectangle. I want to make this nice and big because uh, I want to put quite a few steps in here. All right, so most people know that if you hover in the right spot, you get this square snap. So if I move back and forth along this dotted line, I'm creating a square and you can look in the lower right corner the dimensions confirm this is 46 foot 10 inches by 46 foot 10 inches. What people don't always realize is if you keep dragging over you get another snap line which is the golden section. Golden. Golden section or a golden rectangle is an exact uh, width to height ratio that is represents geometry that's found in nature and whole bunch of other stuff. They, Fibonacci is also a name that is attached to this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by clicking right here. And this is a shape that um, really a lot of people use for putting balance. If you look at a lot of like the master's paintings from the Renaissance, uh, these golden uh, spirals and golden proportions are found throughout. So I just want to show how you could actually use SketchUp to create one of these shapes, specifically the spiral. So once I have my golden section rectangle, I'm just going to come in and draw a square on the left side. And now I'm going to go to where that one ends and I'm going to draw another square. As I'm creating this square, this square that first broke my golden rectangle, I create a square and a golden rectangle over here. So if I draw another one, again, let that square snap happen, I create a new square and a new golden rectangle. And this is how they'll continue to break out. Square and rectangle, and from the end of the last square, I'm just going to draw the next square. And I'm going to keep working around in here until I go a couple layers deep. I'm going to zoom in and maybe do a few more. Oops. I missed my snap there. Maybe one more. All right, so what I've just created there is a spiral of squares that are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and smaller. all the way down to that little one right there. That's good. Now what we need to do is connect this up with arcs to create a spiral that goes through these. So a golden spiral actually has a single line which will touch at these points. So it's going to touch at the corner here, corner here corner here and have one smooth fluid arc that goes all the way down to wherever it ends. Um, we could try to do this with a standard two-point arc. You click here, click here, and I could probably ballpark right about here is where it should go. That's not ideal. That's not perfect. What we're going to use instead is a different arc type. We're going to go to the standard arc. A lot of people use this two-point arc over and over and over again, not realizing there's other arc controls. There's other arc tools. So we're going to click on the standard arc. What this tool is going to ask us to do is pick the center of the arc. Where are we spinning? So we want to create an uh, arc that goes like this. So the middle of that point is going to be at the end of this square. I click once there. Now I'm going to move to the start of that square. Click once there. Move my mouse up to the top and click once there to create a quarter circle. And I'm going to do that on the next square. Click, click, click. And I'm going to work my way through these pieces, just creating quarter circle at a time, smaller and smaller. See how small I can go before I got to break down and zoom in. Ooh, I'm getting close. Get this last one. I have to zoom in. 
So when we do that, I can delete these extra lines, and what we'll be left with is an approximation of a golden spiral. Okay, so some of you out there are calling foul. You're like, do you even Fibonacci, bro? Because yes, I realize that in a true golden spiral, this is one continuous flow and all it goes all the way down. We actually connected it together with quarter arcs. So this is an approximation of a golden spiral. But the fact of the matter is using just those native SketchUp commands, you can create that golden section, that golden spiral. Use those Fibonacci numbers to make that geometry. So how do you actually use this once you created it? I'll only that one up to you guys. In fact, if you guys want to comment down below and let me know a place that you've ever used the Fibonacci rectangles or the golden spiral, golden rectangles, that ratio, let me know down below. Like I said, it was asked for by a couple different people actually to use to show how to use those tools. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you like that and uh, maybe you have a use case for that. If so, give us a like. Let us know that was worth your time. If you want to subscribe, you'll be notified when other videos like this come out. Though probably less Fibonacci in those videos than what you got in this one. Most importantly though, leave a comment. Like I said, if you have used this or you've had a need to use this, let me know what that is. If there are specific use cases where you get all Fibonacci on it, let me know about that too. Like making these videos? We like making them a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.